Bog je človeku ustvaril deželo po rajske podobi. Imela je jezero, reke polne rib, visoke gore in skrite jame, da ga branijo pred mrzlimi vetrovi. Dal mu je ogen, da si v njem skuje ostrico in prostrane gozdove, da v njih poišče svoj plen. Pridne roke, da obdela plodno ravnico, kamen in les, da se zida si dom. Vrh strme skale je zrasel mogočni grad, na otoku staroslavna cerkvica. Bled, z okoljšno ta podoba raja. Lejski grad, kjer zgodovina oživi.
Hello, good morning again. Um, we will start with a warm-up session. Um, like we did yesterday, uh, I know that you had your teamwork before that, and then later on the other internet groups will join us, and they will make the presentations, and we will make the presentations, so it's going to be like a very intensive hour and a half, maybe even a minute or two more, okay? Um, right now, we will uh, start with a warm-up session. get scared um, and they start to talk they start to talk a lot of various different things and some of them are interesting some of them are maybe even dangerous some of them are actually bull yeah okay okay hello I just put my, my real mask on, just a second. It was so tough during this corona, so luckily we had the Viber and WhatsApp and all the stuff. I couldn't survive. I did get a little bit hooked up, but yeah. If this is the only thing that will hit me, I think I will survive. Okay, I don't need this bullshit anymore. Okay. is much better. Let me see. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, a new message from my friend. She's a painter, Anna Kapper from Rome. Ciao Vesna, ciao Bella, ciao bellissima. Day 43. Although I'm not a doctor, but a painter, I realized that there is no cure for this disease and that <coughs> it attacks only the old, although young people can also die from it. <laughs> okay. Basically, it's not a serious illness unless it gets serious, but we can't predict that. Mm, that's right, yes. Most people have no symptoms. I do not know that they are sick unless they die. The virus has weakened by now, uh, but maybe it has not. We don't know that yet, but we will know by the end of this year. It's necessary to repeat swap twice, but sometimes only once is enough. Each country has its own form of mutated virus, even though we all have the same virus. It's transmitted exclusively by droplets, though close body contact, so it's necessary to clean the sidewalks well. No, no, no. We wash the streets for psychological reason and not to be afraid to go out. Although it's safer not to go out unless it's really necessary. We need to go out to boost our immune system a bit, even though it's safest to stay home. It all depends on next week. Then we will know more. The next three weeks are crucial. It's all up to us. <laughs> Children do not transmit the virus, but they can. We need to take a good care of our children so they do not become infected. Under no circumstances, they should be playing in the playground 
parks need to be locked. We need, definitely need to reopen schools unless we need to close them again. Masks are not necessary. They can also be harmful if used incorrectly. Should not touch the face, yes, of course. It's enough to keep a distance of a meter and a half. Masks are necessary. They guard us, but not the ones you can buy in the pharmacy, but the special ones with the codes that no one has. <laughs> the virus mainly stays on surfaces, so they need to be disinfected regularly. Things from the store do not need to be disinfected because the virus is not transmitted that way. Okay. The virus is of natural origin, and it all started because of one bat in the market. There is no doubt of it. Otherwise, the virus can also be artificial and could escape from the lab. That is clear. The Chinese immediately informed us of the epidemic, impending epidemic. The Chinese are, of course, to blame for not informing us in time about what is happening. <laughs> we are all going to the seaside this year because the high temperature will destroy the virus. Oops. Let me see where did I stop. Ah, in the summer, it's better not to go anywhere and stay home. Mm -hmm. The Russians are just about to discover the vaccine. It will be over by autumn and it will save us. The vaccine will certainly not be available for another year. Once available, you don't need to be vaccinated immediately unless you are at risk. The most important thing will be that we all get vaccinated. <laughs> <laughs> The virus will soon disappear spontaneously. We expect a second wave in September. <laughs> the worst is behind us. The worst is just yet to come. What isn't clear yet? <laughs> Berlin, you seem to be a little bit confused. How come? Look, you're in a room full of experts, okay? They're family medicine physicians. They should know about everything. Why don't you ask them? Oh, this is a good idea. Let me see if I have some papers so they can write me down, right? Some instructions, maybe. Yes, hmm? yes, yes, maybe. Oh, so you need some, some kilo, little kilo. Please, get some info. And bring it back to me, please. It doesn't affect pregnant women. It affects children very little. It poisons the most irresponsible. And because of it, young, young people pay more attention to elderly. Mm -hmm. It slows down the pace of life so that we can play more with children. Again, we have time for love, for baking bread, for nature trips. It cleanses the nature, introduces the importance of money and the pursuit of wealth. It helps us to think of others, to be sympathetic, to be human. It encourages us to live sincerely to value our lives and to be grateful. It opens borders on earth and in our hearts. It, it teaches us that we are all one. There will be no more wars, no only love. Long life, love. Long live love. I think I can see it really clearly now. People don't like insecurity and uncertainty. People are really resilient to long lasting fear and being bossed all the town. They believe in love. 
they long for sense of meaning and need hope. Let me show you something different then. Tell me the one about the virus again, then I'll go to bed. But my boy, you're growing weary, sleepy thoughts about your head. Please, that one's my favourite. I promise just once more. <laughs> okay, snuggle down, my boy, though I know you know full well. The story starts before then, in a world I once would dwell. It was a world of waste and wonder, of poverty and plenty back before we understood why hindsight's twenty twenty. You see, the people came up with companies to trade across all lands, but they swelled and got much bigger than we ever could have planned. We'd always had our wants, but now it got so quick. You could have anything you dreamed of in a day and with a click. We noticed families had stopped talking. That's not to say they never spoke, but the meaning must have melted and the work-life balance broke, and the children's eyes grew squarer, and every toddler had a phone. They filtered out the imperfections, but amidst the noise, they felt alone. And every day the skies grew thicker, till you couldn't see the stars. So we flew in planes to find them, while down below, we filled our cars. We'd drive around all day in circles. We'd forgotten how to run, we swapped the grass for tarmac, shrunk the parks till there were none. We filled the sea with plastic, because our waste was never capped. Until each day when you went fishing, you'd pull them out, already wrapped. And while we drank and smoked and gambled, our leaders taught us why. It's best to not upset the lobbies. More convenient to die. But then in 2020, a new virus came our way. The governments reacted and told us all to hide away. But while we all were hidden, amidst the fear and all the while, the people dusted off their instincts. They remembered how to smile. They started clapping to say thank you and calling up their mums. And while the car keys gathered dust, they would look forward to their runs. And with the skies less full of voyagers, the earth began to breathe, and the beaches bore new wildlife that scuttled off into the seas. Some people started dancing, some were singing, some were baking. We'd grown so used to bad news, but some good news was in the making. And so when we found the cure, and were allowed to go outside, we all preferred the world we found to the one we'd left behind. Old habits became extinct, and they made way for the new. And every simple act of kindness was now given its due. But why did it take a virus to bring the people back together? Well, sometimes you've got to get sick, my boy, before you start feeling better. Now lie down and dream of tomorrow and all the things that we can do. And who knows, if you dream hard enough, maybe some of them will come true. We now call it the Great Realisation and yes, since then, there have been many. But that's the story of how it started, and why hindsight's twenty twenty. Because if you look at the camera, they know someone's filming it exactly. because they can see you. Exactly. If you look at the camera, they know someone's filming it. Okay, back, lie back down. Wait, can I just practice right now? Yes. One, two, three, four. I was just trying to relive the best bits of my day. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> um, okay, <laughs> now we're go just going to take a couple of deep breaths. Um, some of us were really, really touched by this. Um, even if we knew what was coming. <laughs> um, okay. Um, now. Um, now comes the final part of this course. 
and I know that we've all been working really, really hard these times. Um, I'm going to ask Yona's group to join the Zoom session, their regular Zoom group, so that then they will be pre able to present themselves and also to present their outcome. Um, maybe it will take some, some mm, a couple of minutes that we get everything connected well, but I, I think that soon enough we will, we, we will be able to see them okay, on the screen and they will be able to see us. Alan's group remains on YouTube, remains streaming, okay? Yona, <laughs> um, uh-huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. <coughs> I think we hear you, we don't uh, have the image yet. So I'll just have to keep talking. <laughs> With a very soft voice, calming down everyone. <laughs> the weather is really nice. We. Uh, but, uh, you know, this was all prearranged because a couple of weeks ago, Mattia said, ah, oh, basically we have it all covered. Just uh, make, it, uh, make it sure that the weather is nice. So, I mean, she's, she told me early enough, so <laughs> <laughs> I obeyed. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. People are joining the group now, the Zoom group. So we'll just have to wait that... Yeah, yeah. Okay. Franzi, hey. <laughs> okay, hello. Hey. hey hello, Franzi. Okay, we're ready. Okay. Great. Uh, I'm here. Hey, hello. Sashka. Hello. Hello. Oh, hey, the Paolo. <laughs> hey, Margarita. <laughs> Great. Hi. Okay, so it looks like we're connected. I'm going I to go to share screen. <laughs> <laughs> I <said> something. <laughs> okay, I'm going to share a screen and put up our PowerPoint presentation, which will start with the first slide. Um, okay. okay. And Fra just a second, Francie, I'm going to put it on a full screen slideshow. Okay. So. Uh, Okay, uh, I, I can begin. Be, be yes, please, Fred. Okay. Uh, 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 I'm uh, remember from uh, the best group. This is the first group. Uh, and uh, try name of uh, this is driving of in family medicine. Try to drive. Please slide two. Oh. Okay. There are uh, pictures from our group, but uh, three, are, three uh, doctors are missing in, in a picture. Uh, Mar Martina, Ariona, Sashka, myself, Paolo, Margarita, and three, three they are in opposite. In, 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 in picture. Martina, Ariona, Sashka, myself, Paolo, Margarita, and three three. Okay. Okay. Sorry, if someone has the um Okay, if someone still has the um YouTube presentation on live stream on YouTube still open on their computer. Could you close it? Because I believe we're hearing an echo from the delay. So I've muted the people who are who are not speaking uh, and we'll, we'll continue <clears throat> with um, Martine's explanation of the brainstorm. Can you? Martine is not, not, not in the room. Okay. So Pablo, could you um, begin by explaining the process of Group One's work? Okay, sure. 
so I, I agree with Francie uh, that uh, our group is beautiful, awesome group. I enjoyed very much, and the facilitator is, is fantastic, believe me. Uh, so uh, we started with brainstorming before we d delivered the model plan, uh, and uh, the first idea came, it was on the, in the air uh, all these days, uh, so to teach doctors how to be resilient. And uh, we thought that it has to be experiential format. Uh, the doctor can, can try uh, themselves uh, different ways of, of getting resilience. Uh, and we decided, uh, is it comfortable to have family members uh, in the same profession? Or um, in general, we clarified it as a possibility to get resilience from your family. Doesn't matter if they're in the same profession, maybe in, in not. Uh, also, uh, the, uh, during the brainstorming, the nice start and the nice topic, uh, the nice topic um, came uh, to us. Uh, so it was try to thrive in our work in family medicine. Uh, we had to help family GPs to achieve better outcomes and to, work, to find our work-life balance to pre prevent, prevent us from, from um, oh, excuse me, I don't see it, uh, to, to prevent students cheating out, uh, at the exams. It was also in our plan, but finally we decided not to, uh, uh, not to plan it, to add it into our plan. And also uh, to sell family medicine to medical students, finally, uh, as a beautiful specialty, which touches brains, uh, make some practical skills and also uh, touches your heart uh, and changes your attitude finally. Thank you. In our group, we try to find out where, which were the objectives of the course. And at the end of the course, uh, the, we realize that the learners should get three different things. So they can get, they should get knowledge, skills, and attitudes. So to do with the knowledge, the, the learners sh should be able to define burnout and resilience, should be able to access resilience in the workplace, to also know uh, effective methods to relax themselves, and uh, learn to recognize one's, uh, one's, one's relaxing needs. Um, they should also get some skills, um, so they should recognize challenges to be overcome, experience personal methods to enjoy their work, and to do with attitudes, uh, things that really change your, your heart. So they should nurture uh, reasonable uh, expectations about difficult patients, accept limits to one's own ability to influence patient's life, and she would also be able to understand family's role in promoting resilience in their lives and work. Martine, would you like to read the method slide? Yes. Please. Thank you. <clears throat> so we wonder who should be the participants. And uh, so one suggestion is that there should be young trainees that we know that are particularly uh, uh, burnout now or suffering from burnout and uh, another suggestion was to uh, produce it as a CME course and then have a mixture of people a mixed age group and maybe interprofessional participants to enrich uh, the, the, uh, the ideas and uh, the participation or the format so we thought that there is not much choice that we should prepare an online course but on the other the hand, we know that we need uh, people to meet face to face to be effective. So we have not finalized what should be the time frame and the exact format so far. What we know is that we want it to be very experiential with a lot of uh, things to practice, really uh, relaxation exercise, meditation, dancing lessons. And uh, also we could have discussions with doctors who have survived burnouts and uh, maybe produce some role play of how to cope with burnout. If we uh, learn how to recognize the burnout syndrome, then we could uh, develop maybe some program or so management plan to uh, cope with uh, burnout and help doctors. 
Um, we should use instruments to evaluate burnout uh, for the participants themselves. Um, questions such as uh, using music, music and art in our clinic, uh, understand what is the message behind it. Now, we could also use some homework, like uh, each one preparing a presentation of his own ideal clinic and present it to, uh, presenting it to the, to the group, to the participants. And also we want to use movies. Um, there were some suggestions such as a Honeyland or to serve with love, but there are many other movies that could be used in our course. Tashka, are you? And we would like to do an assessment of the course. So at first, uh, we want to start with pre-test and post-test using the Maslach or Smith questionnaire about uh, resilience. Afterward, we were thinking about uh, creating a role play uh, to develop a management um, from a given uh, situation. Uh, so the uh, participants can uh, choose from the methods uh, uh, how to resolve the uh, situation or the problem given to them from their daily work. Uh, afterwards, we would like from the participants to list two or three methods of, relaxa of uh, relaxation that are effective for them. And at the end, uh, we would like to do a follow-up questionnaires that we will do at the uh, uh, time frame for after three, six of, or uh, and 12 months later so uh, that we can see the changes that the participants uh, did uh, uh, through their work, daily work, and we can do an evo uh, evaluation of the possible bo uh, of booster time. Okay. Thanks. I'd like to ask if there are any questions from the participants in the um, room in Rivno or from other participants online, we'd be happy to answer questions about our presentation. Okay, do, do we have here in Rivno any questions? Maybe, uh, Eva, are you maybe following this on chat? Okay, for the... The <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's it's just basically it's Ella. Yeah. Okay. Any well questions? Done. Any comments? Well done, I would say. Huh? Yeah. Thank you, Matea. We can hear you loud and clear. It's really wonderful, but we we can't see. We just see the dynamic uh, logo. <laughs> Hello. 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 Think, uh, how did you manage to try so many me methods? in this short time, or? My, Pablo would like to answer, please. Uh, thank you for the uh, nice question. Actually, oh, now we can we, see you. <laughs> yes, uh, actually, we didn't define the timetable. Maybe we could extend it to one week of uh, getting our resilience. So it can be a vacation for family doctors. So, or it can be one day, or it can be three days, as, as in beautiful uh, town of Blood. So uh, we hope it could be done any, any time. So uh, the question is, uh, we are not limited in time, in our, in our ideas. <laughs> I just wanted to comment that uh, I love the idea of assessment several months yeah. from Very the good. end point mm -hmm. of the workshop or the course or whatever, mm -hmm. because that is what we really want. We want to give people life skills for the remainder of their lives, and it's important to see what happens later. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Any other question? Comment? May I give the comment to the comment? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, uh, that was a very nice during uh, nice brainstorming discussion, and you know this the idea about booster came just just during the last minute. Uh, the idea is just to be uh, to be researchers, to be scientists, and to evaluate when to repeat these kind of sessions to, for for to to increase the resilience. So, for my mind, once a year is not enough to increase your resilience. 
So that I suppose we, we, we wanted to evaluate how much, uh, I mean, how much time needed to get the next booster, maybe in, in half a year or maybe in three months. So that was the idea. Uh, that's why we, we wanted to, to make a scientific research on it. <laughs> The, the current recommended dose of bled is once a year. <laughs> I'd like to respond to the question about the many methods that were selected. The amazing thing for us is that all of these methods were experienced, except for dancing, by the participants in two and a half days of the international online bled course. So it certainly is possible because we used almost all of these methods uh, by experience uh, in, in our small group. Okay, so maybe this is a challenge for next year, how to organize uh, dancing <laughs> <laughs> lessons or whatever. Yeah, okay, this is Online? a challenge for next no, year. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Okay. Actually, I have one, one more comment. So uh, you said that, that our recommendation, that our recipe is uh, like uh, prescription is just uh, one, one blood a year. But if people are already addicted to blood, what happens with them? <laughs> <laughs> you cannot come here in the we control survive. group, Paolo. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, we, we have a question from Marta. Um, could maybe group one share their presentations with the rest of us later? They all um, will. Yeah, we all with, will with share pleasure. our presentations. I will send them to those emails that I am um, that I'm sending the reminders, um, like don't forget day one, day two, and so on. So I will send them to all those emails, and if anyone still wants it, the, I mean, just just let me know, okay? Uh, the same is true for the present for the for the powerpoints of the presentations that we had that we had, and. Um, Anyway, the lectures that were streamed will be post-edited and will be also available on our website, okay? So you get all the materials. No worries. No, we have some whiteboard notes from our group and I'll edit them as I did in past years. And if the members of the group agree, it will be anonymized. We may be able to share written notes because there was some really good work, some hard work done in the small group work that other groups may benefit from. And one more thing is that I sent a copy of my lecture in written format to Eva, and I if she's willing to share that, uh, I know it's going to be translated into Slovene for the Slovene participants, but I'd be happy to share my full text version of my lecture with the course participants, if you wish. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, any other question, comment, or do we say goodbye to this group? And right. we're, we're going to, to get... leave the Zoom room and join yes. you again in the streaming room yeah. on YouTube. Exactly, so. say hi yeah. to, to chat in the streaming, okay? <laughs> okay, <laughs> see you in a minute, one minute. <laughs> bye bye. Okay. Bye. Now we will wait for Alan's group, okay, to join us. Um, this will take a couple of minutes, seconds, whatever. <laughs> okay, maybe um, just one idea. Maybe we can put this <laughs> thing a bit aside. Huh? No, no, no. No? No, 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 we need just, it. Just, ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> You can do some stretching in the meantime, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Hey! Hey, friends! <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, we see Alan's group now. Alan, do you see us? Do you hear us? Hello! Hey! Welcome! <laughs> Okay, um, <laughs> Gali, Opusnam, Jerry, Vanya, 
Hey Marta! <laughs> Maria, Albina, Vania, Sara, Maria. Wow, you're so many. <laughs> Galia, hey! Hey! Vania. Hey! Just swim in this way. Yeah. Should we just do a really quick round of hellos? Just who our names and where we're from for, okay. for the. Yeah. Yeah, please. Yes, please. please do that. So I'm, I'm Alan, you've met me before. Okay. Jerry, come on. Open your Unmute mic. Unmute yourself. <laughs> Jerry. Jerry, you're muted. Yes. Severe there. Unmute yourself. Jerry. Unmute my, yeah. Am I unmuted oh, now? Bravo. Hey, Jerry. Hello. Hello, I am Terry, and I'm from Ireland, and this is my uh, 19th, uh, uh, I think, um, uh, Bled, Bled Conference. Thank you. Welcome, Jerry, <laughs> again. <laughs> well, hi, dear colleagues. Um, my name is Sara. I come from Skopje, Macedonia, and it's my first time participating in this Bled course. Hope to see you in life next year. So true. Hey, Sara. <laughs> Hi, I'm Vanya. I'm from uh, Zagreb, Croatia, and this is also my first time participating in the blood course. Daria. Hello. <laughs> I'm Galia. Uh, I'm from Israel, and this is uh, my second blood course. I was in the real one last year, and I hope to be there again next year. Hello. Hi. Oh. Hello, I'm Albina. I'm from Ukraine. It's my first time for blood course, but not first time for Iraq meetings. And uh, I hope I will be there for the next years. Glad to see you all. Well, bye. Hey, Albina. Hello, everyone. I'm Elisabetta, and I'm also from Skopje, Macedonia. It is my first uh, blood course, but uh, I hope it will be not uh, last. I hope it, I will be there next year. See you soon. See you. We uh, hope that as well. Marta? Hello, I'm Marta Hello. from Portugal. <laughs> it would be my fifth blood course. I think it's only four and a half this way, but I hope to see you <laughs> next year in blood. <laughs> Miss you all. And Corona came, and you couldn't come for free, huh? Uh, but the, the Next offer, year. Marta, the offer still stands, yes. okay? So <laughs> this year there are no good pictures. I, I checked all of them, and they're all lousy. So you still win. <laughs> so that gives you the entrance ticket for the next year's course, okay? <laughs> Thank you. You are very kind. I will take you on that. <laughs> yeah, sure. Do that. Maria? Uh, hello. My name is uh, Maria Bacola. I'm a, a general practitioner from Ioannina, Greece. Uh, it is my first time participating in a blade course. And uh, thank you for this uh, experience, this uh, wonderful experience up to now. And uh, Dobrodan. Oh, Dobrodan. <laughs> Dobrodošla. <laughs> Welcome, Maria. Irina. Good morning, or maybe good day, everyone. My name is Irina. I'm from Ukraine. And I'm also for the first time on the BLED course. Uh, I have it, I'm happy to see all of you at least in online regime. So thank you very much for this awesome course. <laughs> see you next year, I hope. <laughs> in viva. Yeah. In, nice. in viva, right? We hope so. <laughs> Mario? Hi, Mario. everyone. I'm Mario. Uh, I'm from Sintra in Portugal. And it's my first time in the Black course. And I'm enjoying it very much. Thank you, welcome. Okay, Ellen, these are all from your group? Fantastic. Vladimir's M not doesn't appear to be on screen at the moment, but perhaps he'll, he'll reappear. Fantastic, thank you, Rach. So, um, I, I'm going to hand over to the group now, and they're going to present uh, their module. Yes, please do okay, that. So, I'm going to share a screen. 
we didn't have time. We're not as fast as the honest group, so we didn't <laughs> make a, a PowerPoint, but we learned yesterday to use the whiteboard of the Zoom, so we used that. Um, maybe, Marta, you want to present the first part, the, the group that you were planning to lecture to and the objectives, and then I'll present the outline. Okay, it's not planned, so I'll do my best. Um, the, 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 the goal was to, to do um, a meeting uh, for my team at the health center, which uh, is composed with doctors, nurses, and secretaries. Uh, it would be a 90-minute session, and the aims and objectives our group designed were uh, first to know the definition and importance of resilience and thriving, and then more on an attitude level to appreciate that resilience and thriving can be learned, and how, and uh, for the skill uh, uh, goal, uh, to learn ways to promote resilience and thriving. And, and then we took those two objectives and we tried to plan uh, what you called uh, methods in the previous presentation, how we are going to achieve it. It's a little uh, messed up, but I'll try to go step by step. So the first step is introduction uh, via a buzz group uh, where people can uh, talk and, and think what is RNT is resilience and thriving to make it short. Uh, RNT for you, so we give them five minutes for uh, talking and five minutes to share in the assembly what they found. And then the uh, course instructor gives a mini lecture of uh, resilience and thriving uh, based on um, key uh, slides from the presentations in this course. Um, later, the, the next phase of the um, of the session uh, is doing the visualization um, drill or, that, or exercise that we did on the first day based on uh, Russ's uh, lecture, uh, where you visualize your best workplace environment and tell a friend. We estimate that this will take about 10 minutes. Then we would suggest to do a discussion of uh, are you resilient how, and how do you know if you are? And this will lead us to uh, presenting the scoring systems that can be used um, to uh, evaluate. Are you resilient and can also be used over time? I'll, I'll talk about that a little later. Uh, I didn't write, but this should be somewhere around 15 to 20 minutes. The next part we had uh, two options for. One is to do mini cases where you make a plan to address RNT of a doctor in small groups, and we will present two mini cases later and explain on them. Uh, regarding time, the plan was to give about 10 minutes for discussion and 20 minutes to collect it in the assembly. Or if you are shorter on time or think that you might not uh, be able to do that, then you can do uh, the role play, where you only give one vignette uh, case uh, of a difficult case and suggestions like uh, two colleagues talking. Uh, it takes less time, about uh, 15 minutes, but most of us prefer the mini cases, especially because this is an, meant for an interdisciplinary team meeting. So we thought that the, uh, me, the small groups can be mixed. You can have doctors and nurses and a secretary, and this will allow every um, subgroup to be heard and not just uh, like the secretary is listening to the doctors. Uh, obviously, in a group that is all doctors, this is a little less critical, but it really depends on the group that you are trying to teach. Then as far as assessment, we, we agree that this is not a, a undergraduate course. We don't have to assess it a very, very formative assessment. Uh, but we can assess whether the learners, the participants, are uh, understanding the material by dropping in the, on the discussion and then by the assembly discussion. And we also wanted to do something like a pre and post test using one of the scales uh, where we can maybe send the, uh, the score to the participants the day before or a week before and ask them to fill it 
and then follow up at uh, four weeks and 12 weeks or something like that. And we can um, then show or they can show themselves if they are taking steps to get uh, more resilient and thriving. And the take home message of this whole session is that uh, thrive, resilience and thriving is a team effort. It's a team challenge, not a personal. And it's a continuous process that you have to do over time and not as a uh, one uh, meeting, talking about it, checking the box and moving on. Um, we will now try to present to you the two cases that we tried to write. So I'll uh, open Irena's case and I will let her talk about it. So this is this one. This is the nurse case. And Irena will present it. Share. Share the no, screen. Irina, you can speak. You can just speak about it. It's on the screen. Galia, we don't see it's the case. Can the you screen. just uh, close and open again screen oh. share? Wait. Another. You have to share another screen. Uh-huh. Whoop. Do you now see the case? No. 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 Not yet. You not yet. The wrong window, Galia. No, not, this is not Galia. No, I mean the previous. This is uh, Irina's. Uh, we see. No, it, this it is, is mine. Yeah, but okay. Just a okay. second. No. Do you see it now? No. No. Take on it. We do see the board. Irina, stop your it. share and let, let me share yours. Okay. okay. Do you yeah. now see the yes, case? We see it very well. Well done. <laughs> okay. So Finally. now you can just talk about it. It's, it's screening for mine, but you can talk. Okay. Thank you, Galia. So you see something is not working with me today. So uh, our little cases we would like to present to all of you. Uh, we called ours nurse case because the, the case is about nurse. Uh, she's aged 45 and she's working in the health center, uh, but not in a big health center, but like in a separate department with her doctor. And she has a work experience of 25 years uh, in the same health center. So she, she was working there during her whole life, pretty much. And she also has a master's degree, uh, but at the same time, she has a poor recognition of her experience and her educational background. So she's too much, she has too much experience as a nurse and too less experience as a doctor. So, she, so she's somewhere in between in this situation. And uh, speaking about her personal life, she's married and she has three children, um, but uh, she has some marital problems with her husband. And also her children cannot help her with that because they are, I guess they are living separately because they are grown up already. And uh, she also has some financial troubles because of the mortgages. And uh, she, she's a superwoman because she has no vacations for the last 10 years. Um, so, so this is the actual case that we have um, created. And what we would like uh, the, the team members to do about this case is the first question is to find out what are the risk factors of this person, what, she, what problems does she have, uh, what main problems of, of this nurse. And the second one, what are the possible ways to overcome this, how to, to improve this situation, what to do with this, um, what may be the ways to overcome all these troubles. So this is our case. Uh, our case. Uh, it, okay. Uh, Sarah, you're presenting the other mini case? Yes. yes. Okay. Our mini case uh, is also about a nurse. She is um, also working as a receptionist and uh, she feels she couldn't cope with all the phone calls and manage patients at the same time. So the question uh, is how can we devise strategies to increase her resilience? Okay, um, so basically what we, um, what was important for us to show is that although, okay, I can't find the outline now, so it doesn't matter. 
although we made this uh, uh, modality for a clinic with 2030 interdisciplinary uh, specialists, then we can adjust this mod module to others, to uh, senior residents or to clinics with a different mix of, of people. And we can still uh, try to get them to um, evaluate and experience uh, the subject and to see where it attaches to their lives and to their work environment and just raise the awareness where we know that this is not a one, one stop. It, it's just the beginning of the process. Uh, and I will later take everything and put it on a, in a PowerPoint and send it to you. Uh, so you can um, give it to others. Thank you very much for that, Galia. That that would be great. Um, do we have any? Oh yes, of course. First, this is a clap. <laughs> okay, and we have some questions here. Uh, but, uh, but thank you very much. I think that you took one very nice aspect and this is that uh, discussing about resilience it's also about discussing taking care of each other not only about ourselves and uh, that you uh, especially in the case one um, emphasized one very important point in the job satisfaction uh, and and personal um, well-being and this is recognition in the profession. And, that, uh, uh, and you took nurses, because we are all doctors here, that's a especially nice point. So I congratulate you. Okay. I so much agree with you, Davorina. <laughs> um, any no, other I, comment, I question? I should just add that the group chose that. It was nothing to do with my talk being in that direction. The, the group chose it, and it was Marta's real situation. Um, so it was interesting that, that, that uh, I agree that they chose an interdisciplinary um, setting to do it. And I think it's a really good topic for interdisciplinary learning because it's not specific to any profession. Any other comment, question? Suggestion? If not, thank you. Thanks a lot. Um, we can only wave to you now. And please join us on stream because uh, now you will see the presentations that were done here in Slovenia. Okay? Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, so I asked. Uh, uh, okay. I ask my group to join me here. Okay, this is the brilliant group who worked here in Bled, in Bled or in Ribno. We were the lucky ones in comparison to uh, the international participants. Um, and uh, uh, I uh, was the group leader for the first time and I apologize to everyone. Um, for anything that might not go as smoothly as it may go in several years from now. So um, we were, our target was young doctors, young uh, specialists and uh, people at the end of the specialization. Sometimes young specialists are a group that we do not focus on very well. Uh, we do not uh, pay attention to them and yet they're one of the groups that are at highest risk for burnout of all. So, um, we are presenting workshop for young doctors, 
Uh -huh. Next slide. Next, next slide, please. Okay. This is us, the famous group one, because we were in the first uh, story uh, of this hotel. Um, <laughs> Uh, Nina, Vesna, Eva, Tumajas, Sivuna, Tamara, Andriana, Janes, Radovan and Vade. Next slide, please. Evo. Uh, on the next two slides, uh, we just um, wrote down the work that we did in one, one, year, one day and a half. So I has two or three sessions. So this was this what we, it was like a brainstorming and we put it on a flip chart. So uh, really what are sources of joy uh, for us in family medicine? And then we, 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 we um, uh, got five different uh, categories, uh, patients, personal growth, personal growth is twice, so I guess there's a, there's, a, there's, a <laughs> there's a glitch. Uh, nature of our work, teaching, uh, uh, which, which category is missing Bec uh, because uh, I guess there are two, uh, uh, we, we, we work, wor work environment, yeah, we because we had five categories, so, yeah, next slide, please, <laughs> okay, this, this slide is less embarrassing, so, uh, uh, the, uh, here is listed <laughs> what, what, uh, uh, what are the, uh, proper, uh, what are the, um, yeah, what, what, how our ideal practice looks like. So we, a lot of space, more space, more stuff. Um, everything is very uh, pleasant and in, in uh, harmony. And that we are really not alone somewhere locked, but really surrounded by, by our team. We have all the best technical possibilities. Some had li library and the others had gym, so this was like uh, not not uh, both of them, but one one optional optional. Yeah, and uh, but but uh, I guess most of us had uh, some exit exits uh, passages to recovery room where we could have some short meditations, and again enough space, more space with big windows. Uh, we decided to establish a teaching model, and the uh, name is uh, very meaningful. It's also about me, a uh, teaching model especially for uh, young doctors uh, and uh, young specialists uh, in family medicine. And uh, this model uh, should be in uh, the shape of workshop and uh, the main aim of workshop is to be aware of the importance of satisfaction as a doctor to be a doctor especially young doctor and uh, that you uh, are better uh, as a doctor if you are satisfied uh, in your profession in your private life private life uh, so we should seek the strategies to improve the quality of our uh, private or, or uh, private and professional life of uh, young doctors. Uh, so they are the target uh, po population, trainees and young specialists. Uh, it is uh, meant, meant like one lecture and two t t 90 minutes workshops, uh, uh, also working in small groups. And uh, one possibility is uh, when we, we will uh, put Corona uh, away, aside, uh, to be on a congress uh, aimed uh, at young doctors. Uh, please, next slide. Yes. Uh, lecture is the first part of uh, this uh, uh, workshop, uh, and uh, lecture is uh, uh, our idea is to be uh, put as uh, uh, pathways for solving compliance in healthcare. Uh, and uh, some of important parts of uh, such lecture uh, are these two, what to do when a patient complains about you or your work uh, or per practice, and uh, the, other the other one during the regu regular program uh, of the Congress. Uh, please, the next one. Okay. So, about the next part uh, would be two uh, one and a half hours workshops. So. Uh, so the workshops should be face to face because um, giving this topic uh, on distance is uh, relatively ineffective. So uh, 
maybe we have to uh, postpone this uh, part to the period later on. On the other hand, lecture should be um, presented online, uh, 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 prepared in advance and putting uh, also uh, on, a, on a web. Uh, but uh, so because um, so we, we could start a workshop with some personal presentation about the story uh, uh, of, of a doctor describing this situation and uh, the, 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 the way how to resolve the problem with, for example, compliant uh, and uh, how to do this on a way to prevent the burnout. Uh, so uh, the second part will be bus groups, bus groups. So about um, uh, talking to the participants about the relevancy of this uh, way um, and the topic uh, visualization and uh, so uh, on the on the last part, uh, we have uh, to, uh, to check uh, the technique uh, of, uh, for example, resolving uh, the, our topic about, uh, for example, compliant. And so uh, on the end, we put all the ideas uh, on a flip chart. So we, on the end, we have a sort of assessment, more or less like a feedback uh, uh, of the participants. So, and the second workshop, so please, next, next slide, please. Uh, so, uh, will be, uh, so, will be the, the, the continuation of the program. So, um, we expect that the participants first of all um, uh, listen to the lecture and then be a part of the, uh, be a partici partici participate uh, uh, to the first workshop and then, so this is the, the, the highest level. Uh, so uh, we are uh, uh, working in pars pairs and uh, talking about uh, uh, the complaint. So uh, discussing each to other and giving feedback and trying to, uh, to put uh, the, 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 the key points from, from this uh, discussion. And uh, so very important is to have an um, experienced doctor, uh, a leader of the group, uh, with a, a plenty of experience uh, to, uh, on the end, uh, give a, a general, uh, general idea of everything uh, we are doing during the workshop that uh, what to happen with us when we have a compliant. This is a normal that uh, the people compliant and we, 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 we have to accept this as a part of our normal life. It's not easy when you're a young person and you have the compliant for the first time, but during uh, uh, being a more mature, so you, 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 you cope with this situation as a part of normal, professional, and also personal life as well. Uh, and yeah, and on the end, uh, so we, we, we try to have our colleagues uh, coping with the compliance. So, uh, and uh, on the end, uh, so uh, there's no uh, formal assessment. For so, but later on, maybe it would be a good idea to ask these young colleagues uh, after one or two years if the technique uh, was useful for them, they, if they feel uh, different afterwards when they have their first compliant uh, of their patients uh, later on, if they use the technique in the practical situation and help them uh, 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 resolving the, the, the stress uh, and the, the negative feelings after having com com compliant. Okay. So, and the last slide, and the last slide. Thank you all. Um, this relates to the beast we have seen and to the fact that sometimes we are also uh, working as bees and you maybe shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is not planned, but on behalf of the group, I'm taking the liberty of thanking Eva for her wonderful debut as the group facilitator. It was an honor to be in your group. Thank you so much. Pardon. Thank you, group one here in Bleed. <laughs> um, 
Now, if you can, uh, now we are wait, um, waiting for some maybe questions, comments on this module. Um, maybe there is something on chat. No, not yet. Maybe s from the other group, some questions, comments. Yeah. Uh, thank you, the group. I very much liked your presentation and I liked that you took a uh, side of complaints because I think it's very uh, good for Slovenians to listen to this and to be aware that we are a, a little bit of a culture of uh, blaming and that complain might be one that uh, you do 30 times right and one time not optimal and then it's a big discussion about this non-optimal thing. So I think it's very good that uh, we discuss this in, in the sense of uh, well-being of the doctor and uh, thriving. And just a little question, what did you have in mind with this video about uh, uh, how charismatic doctor, did you have any specifics in mind? We didn't have anything specific in mind, but uh, our young doctors tell us that uh, they um, they would need or they would like to hear from experienced people, from people they look up to, from people who are their role models, uh, that yes, it's normal to make a mistake, it's normal to receive a complaint, it's, uh, pr you are uh, not a bad person because of that, and it's possible to survive being complained against and still thrive, go on to thrive in family medicine. Janis <laughs> 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 suggested that Davorina should um, volunteer for being this charismatic doctor. Actually, actually, we, we were even thinking about re, uh, like uh, to record some statements like, um, did it happen to you? Did you get a complaint? And then they would show everyone, let's say, from, from the blood course, and we would all, of course, say, yes, I did. Uh, so maybe even this would be enough impressive for young doctors. Look, it just happens to everyone. Yeah, it's normalization of the, of the let's say, process, yes. Any other question? Do we have something online? No, nothing, okay. So that means that everything was clear. Um, the, our second group here in uh, Bled um, made a very special presentation. Um, are you ready or maybe you need some, a minute or two to get we the technical? We are always ready. They're always <laughs> ready. <laughs> okay, do you need another mic? <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> just maybe a... Welcome to the pre Hello Europe. Hello Group 1. Uh, welcome to the presentation of the very small working group <laughs> number 2. 
Um, can I have the next slide, please? We are Tadeja, Draženka, Nadia, Nevenka, Anna, Jean, Miriam, Darinka, Davorina, Tatiana, Ingrid, Erika, Branko, another Visna, and myself. Uh, now I give floor to Draženka, and I have to tell you that this is a very special working group. We are all GPs, but Draženka is diabetologist. Uh, willing to uh, to learn to learn from GPs. Can you imagine that? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, Europe, do we have that? <laughs> Thank you very much, also for being with you. So, uh, our, the target population of our module are trainers of trainees in GP family medicine. Next slide, please. So, it is a two-day course with three independent sessions, partly theory, partly technical skills, uh, a lot of fun and well-being, and a lot of networking. Next slide. So the aims of the, uh, of the modules are to define thriving and resilience, to recognize the impact of culture, of wellness, personal resilience and efficiency of practice on thriving in family medicine, to handle the complexity of challenges, to become aware of your personal and professional needs, to be able to handle patients' health problems for many, many years, to value your well-being according to Maslow, and to value the teamwork in family medicine. So next slide. What are the methods? Pre-course reading, case reports with homework, lectures, small group work, wrap-up plenary session, and uh, for assessment, the feedback. And how would the session one look like? The title is Good Enough. We like this expression. Um, so we would have a lecture on knowledge, on thriving and resilience, on recognition of external and internal needs, and how to cope with difficult situations. We would provide a survival kit. So um, for the session one, we would have a pre-session homework, an icebreaker, and then plenary lecture, mainly with a representation of definitions. And then group work, homework case discussions, a survival kit, and wrap-up session. So the survival kit, how to balance between heart and mind. And here the, the picture of uh, the apitherapy is missing. Mm -hmm. And then on the next slide, uh, in the session two, we would touch about um, we would talk about m more talk about the team, and the outcomes would be um, to identify to promote thriving in our work, uh, family practice, or at the university department, and to identify important risks regarding the self care within the team. And the methods would be a lecture: how to achieve well being in a team. We would use uh, in small group work visualization techniques or drawing techniques. Uh, the first one would be on personal values and what makes you happy and satisfied. And the second one would be how, w how does your um, uh, ideal workplace look like. And then the session three, the title is Perfect Team <coughs> and the outcome uh, we would uh, like to learn about the strategies to build a perfect family medicine team. We would have a warm-up session and uh, a lecture on empowering of the family medicine team. And then uh, the main part would be a role play and the discussion about the role play you will see now. Next slide, please. So this role play 
will show you a typical day in family medicine practice in Meslandia. The next slide. So please, uh, we have a situation, a team of five people. We have a GP. On the first place, please raise your hand, GP. Yeah. We have a trainee, of course. A GP has a trainee. Uh, that's me. That's you, yeah. OK. And she also has a student. So it's a very good teaching practice, as you see. She has a nurse. Who is the nurse in this team? Yeah. We have a nurse. And the nurse practitioner. It's a big team. <laughs> and the nurse practitioner. <laughs> And all this team has one patient in the office, the patient, and the other patient will be on the phone because we know we are very active on the phone at the moment. And they have some patients, not too many because of the corona time, yeah. in the waiting room. And then this, all this scenario or this uh, role play okay. yeah, will um, we'll have an aim. It's a teaching role play, of course. So you have to put it on again, <laughs> because I don't know by heart. <laughs> the aim will be to recognize the risk of bad outcome and burning out because of bad organization. So you see something will happen not optimal here. And we have a goals of this uh, role play. We will analyze this clinical situation evaluate team member roles and communication between them. We will evaluate threats and critical points that ruin the resilience of the team members and at the end propose improvements in organization of care. So let's see what will happen in the next minutes. Doctor, doctor, uh, nothing special. Uh, I have just, a just please, just wait a little bit. Just okay, okay. What's wrong? Don't yeah, enter. I have a sting of a bee here. Uh, I'm not sure that I'm bee allergic. Bee sting? Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's here. a little sw see, swag, yeah. but yeah. what problem? Do you allergic or no. what? No, no, I think no, not no? But I'm not sure. Why? How not sure? Hmm. Uh, uh, hi, sorry, I'm late just traffic and yeah, 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 yeah. Stay here because uh, listen, we need to talk about now. my vacation plans just for this year. What, uh, yeah, my vacation plans. Uh, yes, but now we have uh, here a beast During thing. the break. Just look, uh, look up uh, the patient a little bit. Here we what, have uh, some uh, pathologic uh, ACG. ACG? Yeah. What? what uh, Over patient. Over the patient, yes. Where is the patient? The patient is in the waiting room. The waiting room? Waiting room. Yes. Just put it in there. Okay, fine. Yes, and you stay here because yeah. uh, we have to uh, look sure. after you. Sure, sure, it may happen some anaphylaxis. Sorry, doctor, there's a phone for you. What? Somebody is calling that didn't want to represent himself and didn't want to tell what is wrong with him. Just, okay, just to want it you. I don't know what's the matter. I don't know. Okay. Uh, hello, here, hello. here is Dr. Te Hello, hello Te doctor, yes, doctor, yes, please. What is the problem? I have a big problem. What the problem? Where are you? I'm in at home in uh, my uh, toilet room. I cannot uh, have a pew for t uh, two yes. days. Please come on urgent uh, home visit, bleeding? please. No, 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 no. Please come, come, come. So <laughs> please, <hard>. please. <laughs> I cannot no, have a pew for two days. Sorry, this looks like anaphylaxis. Could you please sign my trainee sheet for teaching, for treating anaphylaxis, please? That looks like anaphylaxis. I need that signature, please. Italian B and the Slovenian B? Ma what a different B, it doesn't matter, we can breathe. We will pass this to you. So, <laughs> if you're gonna have reanimation, would you sign that as well, please? Excuse me. Tomorrow. Where is my phone? Where is my phone?
the first comment, it is very important for me. I'm a woman. And we, we are plain, we are uh, uh, try to uh, share the roles in this role play. And we are looking for the confused doctor. For first suggestion was Branco. <laughs> Tall, <laughs> man. <laughs> and then one lady in our team says, no, it's not a good idea. He can't be confused. It should be a woman. <laughs> <laughs> it is not fair. Uh, we we pursued that the woman, just a woman can be confused. <laughs> and you accept it. <laughs> <laughs> it's my role play whole the whole, uh, yes, whole life. I think I live in this Meslandia. <laughs> I hope that you understood <laughs> what we wanted to tell you. <laughs> and I would like to thank uh, the group for wonderful working hours, mostly outside, but especially for the first uh, working group session. Uh, it was so touchy. Thank you very much. I would like uh, to thank you, uh, Matea, <laughs> in the name of the group, because uh, she is always calm, reasonable, without any mess. And uh, thank you, Matea. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to say, what is Matea? Matea is an interesting person. That's what she is. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Are there any questions for this group? Aha, uh -huh, we have questions. Of course, we do have a response <laughs> for that. What do we have? Everybody on the chat, totally, on the live streaming session, totally loved you. <laughs> They're all <laughs> clapping and uh, are amazed and enjoy, and they enjoyed it so, they said it's fantastic and so on. But Italian Marta. So, good, so funny, this is fantastic. Ah, and so on. Italian, this. Uh, amazing, <laughs> bravo, so funny, wow, clap, 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 okay. <laughs> And so on. Thank you, Europe. And uh, Marta asks, I would be very interested to find out what goes into the survival kit, please. <laughs> <laughs> all things that you tried in the, <laughs> in the groups, <laughs> with Nobody all knows. the instructions that we already had from our course directors. And from our participants, I guess, huh? Of course. From the courses uh, that... Colored yeah. and enriched yeah. uh, by participants and their yes. personal experiences. Yeah, true. So true. Any other questions, maybe? Comments? Uh -huh. Maybe something for Branco. <laughs> 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 You, okay. you tell your personal experience. <laughs> <laughs> Branko, how do you feel right now? <laughs> it's better. It's better. No, very good teamwork. Yeah. <laughs> What's with that ECG? <laughs> I mean, we literally took his breath away. <laughs> okay. We proposed him to be a doctor. <laughs> I mean, the, the confused doctor, but he's not a confused doctor. So. He pretended to be a dying patient. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't want to develop this any further, that someone prefers to be a dying <laughs> patient <laughs> instead of being a family physician. <laughs> <laughs> it goes along. <laughs> I think it's okay. very important how we enjoy uh, making this role play yeah. uh, from step to step and uh, to final Finalize. Getting Here. better all the time, getting <laughs> better all the time. <laughs> this is very serious message. Actually, what this role play shows is that if every member of the team has its his own goal and not goal common goal, the whole thing then the the patient uh, dies, almost dies, can't breathe. Yeah. 
Yes, and there was no playmaker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There was no organization. Uh, the, the doctor doesn't uh, uh, play the right uh, uh, role in yeah. the team. Exactly. He was not the team uh, I had leader. The team leader. Uh, team leader. The team leader, you meant. There was yeah. no leadership in this, yes. in okay. this team, yes. Okay. No organization. Mm -hmm. And two and Yes, <laughs> we really need a break, mm -hmm. but not in that mood. Okay, um, I think, are there any other comments on the chat? No, okay. Uh, so I think we have more or less um, finished the presentations of our work. Before the beginning of the course, we were actually um, discussing it with course directors Will it be possible to make the modules? Will, the, will it be possible to, to give, to produce something, even online and so on? We weren't so much worried about the, the groups in Slovenia, but we were quite worried about the international groups because it is a spe very special experience. And if you cannot share the same room and, and see the reactions of other team members, this is actually quite, quite difficult. So we are so we should be really, really, really proud on every single one of us um, that we made such an accomplishment. You have now four different ways of conducting this message about how to thrive in family medicine that you can convey, spread around in your own countries. And I think this is really a great achievement. It is more than we expected, actually, from this course. Although we're getting better and better every year, right? <laughs> so By all means. Um, right now, I think it's the time that we say bye to our European <laughs> friends <laughs> and that uh, we go each back to our groups. Um, the Slovenian group, of course, will stay here the same and we will make the evaluation together, of course, if you agree, Eva and Matea? Yeah. Yes. Um, and the international groups uh, join Yona and join our Ellen Zoom connections and make a short evaluation. Um, for uh, European um, uh, participants, we will send out the evaluation forum and we would really, like it's, it's like a survey monkey, something that you click. It will take you about five minutes and we really appreciate your feedback. Yeah. Um, please don't write, I would rather be there in person. Yes, okay, do write that <laughs> because it, we will feel good about it. But we would so much want you to have, it, uh, we would so much want to have you here. Um, and we did miss the international participants very much. It was different, we had a lot of fun, it was great, but we miss you, okay? So, see you next year. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.